Let's look at our main squeeze, Baraka. He is also another character where I've done his combo trials. Um, and do we play as him in the story? Yeah, in the um, Flesh Pits, right? He, he dashes well, honestly. Boy, dash blocking still looks funny. Ed Boon couldn't fix that. Uh, he kind of has a lot of startup in his walk animation. But, I mean, so he feels kind of sluggish and heavy. Everything this game's responsive is just, it's funny, like, everything, the weight of the characters is tied to their animations. His, like, walk speed and his startup. And him and Havoc, because they have these claws on their hands, they look like they don't have hands. They look like they're dismembered. I guess Havoc actually is. Um, he's okay. He's got that big wide stance. He's ready to tackle you like a front back or whatever football term is. Um, one, two, one. Let's set them to auto block. One, two, one. Seven frames. Mid, mid, mid. One, two is minus four. One, two, one is minus three. One's minus one. All right, so you can swing that. That's a great string. One, two, one, swing it all day. Um, back one. Back one two is a low. Minus three. Uh, what do we got here? Back two one. Minus seven, still safe. What is his um? So his spe his go to special is down forward, down forward two. So can you do? All right, you can hit him from back one into down forward two. Cool. You can even do um. And then you can even do back one, two, hit confirm. So, okay. Another good string. A low string and a mid string. It's a little bit more unsafe. I think it's minus seven. Yeah. So, would you just want to do back one? Back one, two, and then back one. One, two, back one. Or would you want to finish it to get close? Because you'd be at risk of whiffing if you just do regular... If you just do regular back one, you're at risk of whiffing. What about his other lows? Just to see the range. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then of course down one. Seven frames. What is this on block? Eight. And then he's got stand two one two. So he has one two one and two one two. Another high mid mid. Nine frames. Uh, plus one. 2-1 is minus 2. 2-1-2 two, two is neutral. So you can pretty much just switch back and forth between 1-2-1 one, one, and 2-1-2. Two, two. He has back one, which is a low. So far, he's seeming pretty good. 4-2. Tarkatan Plunger. Uh, minus 3. It's a high, but it's forward advancing. You could use that to get close and then do down 3 or back 3. So why not? Now what's his down to? 11 frames, but it's only minus 2. Alright. He seems strong. His punches, you can just swing buttons. I like that. 3-4. This is high kick. 3-4. High mid. It's 12 frames. It whiffs all the time, so you better finish this. 3-4. Minus two. So if you accidentally hit a three, his his standing three is plus six on block. Plus five. Three, four. So you can just press buttons with this guy. That's kind of cool that they made characters where they wanted them to be like, not necessarily a pressure type aggressive rushdown character where you need to know what you're doing. They wanted these like safe poke characters where you can press buttons and like get easy strings, safe strings. A lot of easy button combinations, 1-2-2-1. One, two, two, one. Um, that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, so he's more of a pick-up-and-play character. I think they made this game more pick-up-and-play, to be honest. The, the strings are very fluid, and they're also very safe. And you can kind of intuitively think about, like, how would I be able to, how would I be able to juggle something? Um, just looking at the strings and, like, the characters are bouncing in the air. Can I try and swing this and see if they'll come down on it? I think it's pretty good. 
Um, so standing three is plus six on block sometimes. Back three. Back three, and then back three one, and back three two. It's a two hitting mid low. This is what you see all the time. It's minus 14, so you'd better finish it. Um, it's a mid low hot. Back three one is mid low high. Does he have an overhead? Do you have I seen an overhead yet? Um, we've seen a lot of lows, so maybe his strategy is to go low and try and open you up. Um, that's minus seven. And then everybody says that you can back three one. You can neutral crouch the high and punish him. Yeah, punish. All right. And then back three. So back three one and then back three two. That pushes you back. What about that? That's a mid. What's that on block? Minus 13. Huh. Um, what about his... So, that's his basic mix-up string, back three. Um, you can either transition into... Back three one or back three two. I guess you would never want to do the mid because... it That's just as punishable anyway. So, basically, the mix-up would be... There is no mix-up. Back three and you're fucked. Back three two and you're fucked. So you might as well always do back three one and then see if they press something and get launched or see if they um, duck the high. Because at the very least, if they don't duck it. All right, back three one. At the very least, if they don't duck it, um, you're safe, minus seven. Okay, so... He has a lot of mids that are extremely safe and some moves that are basically advantaged. And then all of a sudden he's got this two step low. Does he have an overhead? So now here we go, forward three. That was mid, I think that was, so he has that. Forward three overhead. So he's gonna need to be mixing this up with back three. Forward three, so the leap is the overhead and then the back three is the low. Okay, let's make you block this. Minus seven. Huh. Maybe if you, I mean, why would they not be blocking low? This overhead is a combo starter. So that's extremely scary. It's a safe overhead that's a combo starter. What's its startup? 29. So let's see. I mean, you could try and trade with that. You could be poking back at him. Counter hit. It's like kind of weird to get something started. To just see it, to just see the overhead on reaction. Counter hit. Even when I know it's coming, trying to like realistically time seeing it. To like, like you see Blanca's command throw. In Street Fighter 6, when he jumps at you, it, like, you kind of should be seeing that and pressing a button to hit him. But, um, it seems tough to see his overhead and just respond to it by interrupting. You're going to have to block. Alright, that's really tough. He's got a safe overhead combo starter. I don't know why people are worried so much about this fucking shit low. Maybe you just want to default to block low and then try and learn how to block that overhead. Um, he seems fun. He seems pretty nasty. Down three. Down three is a low as well. Minus nine. That's terrible. Down threes are terrible in this game. And then circle is a double hitting high. And then you have to hit it three times. And then you have to hit it six times. That's minus seven. Has a bunch of mids involved. So you can just kind of... Can you do that on... You can't do it on with. So that's pressing it three times. And then... Three, 
four, five, six, seven. So there's three parts to the string. There's either standing four, standing four, 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 and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Maybe that's how you can do it. One, two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you can special cancel it. So that's, so it's not really, it's not really six buttons. It's either one button, three button, or six buttons. I was having trouble in the combo tutorial trying to press it like, how many times do I have to press it? Five fucking times? But that's not true. You can do it once, you can do it one, two, three times, or you can do it one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's what, minus 14? So, so just do it three times and then see if it hit confirms. And then you can also special cancel it early. Because it's, um... So it's like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Or it's like 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2... Let's see, so if I go just like that, let's try special canceling it. Stand forward, down forward two. And then three, three, four, 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 down forward two. One, two, three. And then four, 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 four. And then you buffer the down two, you get 10. So you'll have to play around with where you want to dial in the the mm, additional hits in the string and where you want to special cancel out of it. Um, it's kind of like you do like 4 for 4, 4 for 4, down forward 2 if you want to get that. Because there's a combo in the, the combo trial that's like that. You have to hit them all. So you could do 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then just dial it in. And count the number of hits and figure out like... Count the number of hits and figure out where you want to um, start buffering things. And the thing is, it's one thing to say, I'm in training mode, I'll, you know, hit the combo. And then even it's another thing to say, I'm in a match and I have a punish, and I know that the combo is going to hit, I know it's guaranteed, I know that I can dial in everything, and it's going to connect and I can land it. It's another thing to be in the neutral game looking at the match playing out in real time, thinking and reacting, and then trying things, be like, maybe I'll try a stand four, and it hits. And then be like, maybe I'll try a stand four. Oh, can I, uh, you know, like, can I hit confirm that into three more? And it's like, no, I'm gonna have to do, all right, maybe I'll do stand four four. All right, got it. And then start mashing out the rest of it. And then be like, all right, oh, I, I, I got it. Let's mash out the rest of it and let's try and special cancel it. Like, to do stuff organically in a match, like thinking freely and then reacting, performing something, hit confirming it, canceling it. That's way tougher than being like sitting in this artificial environment of training mode and trying to do 444 four, four, down 42. So, what's the practicality of trying to do this in a match? It's probably just a combo ender and not really a poke. Because the additional string is so unsafe anyway. But. 444 is not bad. Kind of like an annoying... Uh, something to annoy them with, and it's still safe. Uh, this character seems simple as well. Um, his sweep. That's very sluggish. Plus one. It's a nice low. It can complement that low. Some of the stuff also, even though it's technically unsafe, you might be far away. Yeah, everyone's doing back 3-1. I, I guess just because maybe they're making it safe with Cyrax. I don't know. Back 4 I like. He ha he is one of the few characters, Baraka, that I've seen that has actual advantage plus frames on block. Um, and then he has a forward 4. Just a very weird mid into nothing. Special, So he can special cancel everything. I mean, it's a it's a 12 frame mid that's safe, okay. Um, double hitting mid, forward four four, minus six. Um, 
I don't know, I would just do this. I would just do the basic forward four to get in. It's a mid-string. And that's another thing. Everybody uses um Everybody uses Cyrax with uh, Baraka because that's also what you do in the um in the combo trials. And they even show you how you can fucking call Baraka while he, you're throwing them and fucking take them up in the air. It's so fucked up. Um, and then he has a down four. So he's pretty, he's been simple this whole time. He's been simple this whole time. Um, whatever his punch strings are, they're basically all safe. Let's see. Um, one, two, one is good. What is back one, two? Back one, two is a low starter. That's fine also. I think just do the back one. I think just do the back one. Um, one, two, one, and two, and two are both basically identical. Um... 4-2 is kind of not necessary. Yeah, 4-2 is not really necessary when you have forward 4, which is a mid that puts you at minus 2. Yeah, forward 2 is 16, and forward 4 is a mid that's 12. Um, so, 1-2-1, one, 2-1-2, two, one, two, one, two. back 1 is a low. Um, 3-4. I don't know that you need 3-4 when you have forward 4. Forward 4 is a safe mid. So it'll just make contact, keep him honest, keep him standing. Um, back 3 is his low hitting string, back 3 1. Back 3 1 is his only unsafe mix up. Um, forward four, four, 3 is his leaping overhead. That's very good. And then stand 2 and 4 2 back 2. So all of his 4 attacks are good. His mix-ups are on his threes, his low and his overhead. All of his four attacks are just these weird safe safe moves. And then all of his punch strings, you can just kind of mash them out. Um, let's look at his air strings. He seems solid. Why not? Um, let's look at his air strings. One, two, one. One, two, one. Slams him to the ground. Slams him to the ground. So it's hard juggling off just a single punch in the air. I guess because you're trying to start you're trying to start combos off highs. If you're trying to like transition into an air juggle, um swinging a high might be a tough way to get something started. Maybe a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that that would be good. And then you could just mash you could just mash circle. It might fall out though. Coming off an air to air. Um, jump one four. Okay, pretty cool. Wow, that's pretty good. That juggles. One four. One four land one. Alright, I like that airstream. One four. Look at that. What's his other air string? 2-4. That drops him a little bit faster, feels. So, off a of jump 2, off a of jump 2, what can you get? If you're going to try an air-to-air, -air, then we do some juggle combo in here. I like his I like his one four air string the best. It seems to convert the easiest. Uh, let's go to make him stand. Stand move list. Now let's look at his specials. He does have a projectile. Back forward one. It's kind of slow to start, but once it gets launched, it's going fast. Um, deals damage over time. Opponent takes increased block damage while the damage is in effect um, with the enhanced version. Then he has the blade sparks in the air. Down back one? Weird. Down back one in the... That is so weird. You can... Alright, that's a... that's. You can shoot a bunch of shrapnel 
uh, down at them. That's a bit weird. I never heard of that. Um, down back one. Down back one is sort of like a crossover anti-air. That's an overhead. What is that? Minus 11. And then if you hold what? Hold down? What do I need to hold? If you hold back. Down back one. If you hold back. Why do I need to hold back? And then the enhanced version doesn't really seem much different. Am I doing it wrong? Does it all it all looks the same? Um down back one, down back one, hold back, down back one enhanced. Really seems the same. Must be against an aerial opponent. Oh gotcha. Um I'll record him jumping over me. It looks like he bleeds over you. Oh, he gets like a fourth a fourth hit. He gets a fourth hit it looks like. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, maybe he throws him? It's only on the enhanced version? No, he still throws him. I don't know. That's kind of not that interesting. Who cares? Um, but it's somewhat of a, a, an anti-air special. What else would his anti-air be? I guess, yeah, he's not like coming in with a decent stand 3 or anything. He has down 2, and that's basically it. So you're going to... Maybe that's like your go-to anti-air move. And it's a good cross-up. But then they'll cross you up, and they'll cross up your inputs. So you'll have to watch out for that. Um, down 4-2. We know about that on the ground. Does he have anything with... Uh, down 4-2, that's his basic combo ender. Um, it's certainly not safe, I don't think. Minus 15. Um, but it's a great combo ender, and you can do it in the air as well. Everybody does that in the air. Let's see if that's safe. Kind of didn't connect with them. Overhead. Minus... Minus 19. Alright, not at all. Not at all safe. Um, but in the air. Um, that's what you see everybody doing with Cyrax Assist. They call it... Oh my god, he doesn't even do it. Um, and then they, they do that. It's pretty ridiculous damage. Um, in, hair, in the air, it has to that spin, and you can hold it. And then, back 4-3, he lunges at them. So then maybe back 4-3 can be a better combo ender in some cases, like where they're jumping. Um, let's make him jump. 2-4, or I like 1-4. 1-4 jump series, and then land. Huh. Let's see. Jump. 1-2. Sometimes it's hard to get them to, like, fall on a combo. And you don't want to risk. So let's do 4... Like you, like right there, I would do air combo into land and like four on the ground, standing four on the ground, and then down four two. And it seems like because a lot of these strings have highs in them, that air juggled character falls out a lot. So maybe you would want, maybe you would want to try and end it in back four three because it's like a capture. Doesn't seem like any of this shit's comboing. Damn Baraka. 
You got your work cut out for you. Maybe he wants to just end it in an air series. Um. So what does that do? That does 90. Back 4 3 does 90. And down 4 2 does 120. What about the enhanced version? Does that have armor? I don't know if he has any armor moves. So he doesn't have any armor moves. I don't think he has anything that could be armored through. Um, he seems very basic. You can just kind of swing and slash. He's got a lot of overheads. Um, I guess technically he has one low combo starter. And he has an overhead combo starter. Um, I don't know. He seems basic and fun. A character that like him that's basic and fun is more interesting to me than a character like Ashra that's strong and kind of boring. Um, you could just pick him up and play him. Everybody's going to have a pocket Barak, I bet. Um, I don't think he's that interesting. He's very safe. He's got some, like, 1-2-1, one, 2-1-2. Two, one, two, one, two. It's all the same. Back three's a low. Um, back one's a low. Back three is a low. Starter. Back three, one. But it's unsafe. That's the only unsafe thing that he has. Um... Back four is his sweep. That's good. Forward four is his mid. Forward three is his overhead. Um, yeah, you can just swing, stand one and two. So then the only thing you need to be careful about is his specials. It seems like because all of his strings are so multi-hit and so many of them are highs, characters fall out of them a lot. And that's why everybody's reliant on this Cyrax assist. Um, maybe you would want to just end all of his com I see a lot of people fucking up combos in the corner. Where they try, like, they try and do... Let's see if I can get him a hit. They try and do something like this. And it's like... Maybe they do Cyrax assist. And they, and they like, just try and... Back 3-1, Cyrax assist. Jump 2-2, two, two, like, some jump move. And then Cyrax throws them out of the corner. Or, um... They try and do a four jump. And it's like, they do four jump series... And then they do his special. They do his special attack. What is his special attack? See, in the air, in the air, it's um, his air move is down four two, just like on the ground. And so, if you cross over them, you'll miss it. Sometimes Cyrax assist or the assist will throw them out of the combo. Sometimes your if you do an angle jump instead of a neutral jump, your combo like you'll they'll fall out or you'll go under them. They'll land the air series, and then the special will miss. So one thing you could do, especially in the corner, is like, uh, what is it, back 3-1? You could do back 3-1, and then if you think that there's going to get fucked up, you could do like a jump back. Instead of doing forward jump punch, you could either try doing a neutral jump punch string, or you could try doing like jump back kick. So back 3-1 Cyrax jump back kick and that'll at least like correct you to still get to still get the full special and I don't know what air series they're doing they could be one two they could be doing two one I like one four it seems to be his best air series um, but I think I covered it uh, he's kind of boring and I'm losing interest in him he's very safe He's got cool overheads, and nothing is really unsafe. You can just swing buttons, low overhead combo start. It's basically going to be comboing into his specials. That's what I was talking about. His strings are all highs, so between doing these weird juggle combos, between doing these weird Cyrax air combos, um, you're going to have to figure out the best way to end his combos and not accidentally drop them because the 3D juggle model doesn't connect. You call Cyrax assist, you know what I mean? It's like, you call Cyrax assist, hoping to help you out. How do you even fucking do that? You gotta hold it. And then, like, you're gonna have to figure out perfect, consistent ways to hit stuff mid-screen and in the corner where, you know, I dial it in, and then I, I do the neutral jump punch series, I do the air string or whatever. Um, I do down forward two, I do back forward three. You're going to have to find perfectly consistent ways 
to juggle characters in the air without having to think about timing, spacing, and positioning. You just want to put in the inputs and let it work on its own. So I think he's cool, he's safe, he's good, he's interesting, he's good enough, he's kind of boring, um, but fun enough, Baraka.